Hey everybody, welcome back to Heartland Productions. Like always, I picked the hottest day here in Austin, Texas to make a video. It's over 100 degrees and I am crazy hot. So I'm not gonna be making pizzas today, but what I am gonna do, I'm gonna make a video comparing the Gosney Dome pizza oven with the Pizza Party Emozioni oven. Stay tuned to the very end of the video. I'm gonna go through all the pros, all the cons, and what I think about each oven. Don't forget, if you haven't already right now, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button. So let's start with the obvious differences in these ovens. Uh, the number one thing is price. So the Gosney Dome comes in right around 2,000 US dollars and that's just the oven, none of the accessories, not the stand, anything else, just the oven. So how does the Pizza Party Emozione compare price-wise to the Gosney Dome? So right off the bat, the oven itself is gonna be more than a thousand dollars cheaper this comes in right around the nine hundred dollars um, us dollars depending on the finishes this is just the regular stainless steel one if you get the one the aged copper one like my adori it's a little bit more expensive but that does not include shipping to the united states so on average so it's around nine hundred dollars for the oven if you get it with the standard stone floor and the, just the silver and then it's around between two and three hundred dollars shipping and that's expedited shipping so they ship it. it comes in three or four days it's come straight from italy right to your house if you want some upgrades so if you want the, a different color like the aged um the copper look like this it's a little bit more and if you want the biscotto stones which are a great option it cooks amazing pizza that's about 100 150 dollars more so in kind of total it all up if you get Kind of the basic model, you're looking anywhere probably around $1,200 for the actual price out the door to have it delivered to your house. Another difference is I really like the style of this oven. I think it has a more of a traditional looking oven. Although it's made of steel and has a ceramic coating on it, it has the look and feel of a traditional kind of dome shape oven, hence the name the Gosney Dome. And I really just like the style of this oven. This one sits in my back patio right in the middle of the yard. Uh, not in the middle of the yard, obviously, but right in the middle of my patio. When people come over for like pizza nights, when I'm cooking pizzas for family and friends, etc., everybody's drawn to this oven. It looks beautiful. It's phenomenal, well-built, great quality, and it really is a showpiece in my backyard and on the patio. So regarding style and kind of the overall look of the oven, you'll notice this oven is much more, it's a simpler style. It's more basic. It's basically kind of a half circle shape. They basically just bend the metal over. There's not a lot of flashy bells and whistles with this oven. It's very basic, very simple. That's not always a bad thing. Some of the great things about this simplistic style is that means that there's a lot less that could go wrong with it. There's no, nothing digital, nothing electronic. The only mechanism on this oven is a hand turn on, turn off valve for the gas. So you don't have to worry, there's no battery, it doesn't click or anything. You basically just turn it on, light the burner, and that's it. So really, almost nothing that could possibly go wrong or break on this oven. So from a simplicity standpoint, that's a great thing. And again, I don't consider this one the showpiece. Like this isn't something that everybody's going to be like, oh my God, that's the most beautiful oven I've ever seen. But it's still a pizza oven. I think when people come over to your house, not everybody has a pizza oven, so people are going to be like, oh my God, what is that? And you can, you're still going to have conversations. People still love to talk about this one. It really, at the end of the day, is a great oven also. Another thing I like about it is the versatility of this oven. You can use this with gas, propane gas, natural gas, wood, and charcoal. From a versatility standpoint, this oven is still pretty versatile. You can cook other things besides pizza in this. It still, it really shines, I think, as an overall, if you're going to kind of a dedicated pizza oven, I'm going to say for the price, you're not going to be able to beat this oven for the, it's probably the best pizza oven for strictly making pizza, if that makes any sense. So it's not going to be the one you're going to put a, put a bunch of stuff in it. Versatility wise, this is still a pretty good oven. This, in my opinion, it's really 
it really shines in making Neapolitan pizza, but you can use it for other things. It's big enough where you could easily slide a cast iron skillet in there if you wanted to cook other things like a steak, etc. at high heat. Um, it also has this nice little kind of mantle on it too, so you could kind of set some stuff there. It makes it a little easier. The drawback is, regarding versatility, is that this is only gas. So if you're looking to do slow roasting of meats or things like that, or you want to do something with wood fire or charcoal, this oven's not going to give you that ability. This is strictly a gas oven. So from terms of fuel versi versatility, this is a gas only oven. Um, so if you want wood, charcoal, those kind of things, it's probably not going to be the best option. But as a dedicated pizza oven, and if you want gas, I think you're going to be hard pressed to find any pizza oven in that thousand dollar range that's going to perform better than the Emozione pizza oven. Especially in my opinion with the Biscotto stones, it is an amazing cooking. and It's probably one of the best pizza ovens I've used to cook Neapolitan pizza in. So let's talk a little bit about the cons of the Gosni Dome pizza oven. I say con very loosely because there's a lot of great things about this and cons I mean more some of the things I think they I wish they would have done a little better a lot of people complain about the price point at two thousand dollars but in reality for a pizza oven of this size this would be considered kind of a medium home pizza oven medium size it's not a portable one like some of the smaller like the rock box or a an uni etc and it's not one of the bigger ones that basically you can cook like four or five pizzas and this is a medium sized pizza oven and for the quality of the build and having the dual fuel capabilities, this is actually a very affordable oven. Most ovens of this size and this nature and build quality are gonna start probably around that four to $5,000 range. So for $2,000, you're getting a much better quality oven in a great size for the price point. So is it a con? Maybe if you're on a very limited budget and you wanna stay under the $1,000, it's probably not the best oven for you because it is around the $2,000 mark. But for what you're getting, $2,000 is actually a very good price. Another one that could be considered a pro slash con is the, again, the size of it. This, you can cook two Neapolitan pizzas in this at the same time. Is it ideal? Not really. This is really designed for one pizza and I'll tell you why. So let's measure the entrance. So if I go to the very bottom of the arch, it is exactly 16 inches wide. The issue is, it's only 16 inches at the very, very bottom. So if you're going to launch a pizza with a 16 inch peel, the peel has to be right at the very bottom. If you lift the peel up just one centimeter, it's not going to fit. So I always recommend the biggest peel I would buy for this oven would be a 14 inch wide pizza oven. That way you can launch the pizza in the natural state. You need to be able to lift it up a couple, an inch or so to be able to slide it out. So a 16 inch peel will work, but it's extremely difficult to place the pizzas in the back. So you can do it, it's very challenging. Right here, when you get a little higher, it's about 15 and a half. So in the natural launch position, it's gonna be very difficult. Not impossible, just difficult. I wish it was a little bit bigger. That's kind of my back to the con. If I had my, my set, I would have rather paid a little bit more and had an oven that was just a maybe six inches deeper and maybe five or six inches wider. So one step up from this one would have been ideal. But again, for this price point, this is a great oven and great size. A little more regarding the size of this pizza oven. I mentioned the Gosney Dome has a limitation where the base of the entrance is 16 inches. This oven is actually, what's kind of a pro and con of this oven is that it has an extremely wide opening, which it's 23 inches from here to there, which is great if you wanna put a large pizza. So if you're gonna be doing 16 inch New York style pizzas, you can turn the heat down to the lowest setting and you can actually launch a 16 inch pizza no problems at all in this oven more than enough space uh, the other great part of having a bigger opening in the size is that you can easily do two neapolitan pizzas at a time so if that's your main thing you're looking for in a pizza oven this oven is actually going to be much better because it's extremely easy to launch both pizzas and due to the width of the opening, it actually makes it extremely easy to turn and then to remove the pizzas. The con of the large opening is that it's much less efficient as far as retaining heat. So this, a lot of the heat escapes out of this opening. So is that important? Yes and no. This is a home oven, so you're not gonna have this thing on all day long. So yes, it's gonna use a lot more gas. It's going to 
lose heat faster than the Gosney Dome. But is it a big deal breaker? Not really. I find that when I'm making pizzas, even when I'm making 10, 15 pizzas at a time, the oven itself is only running for maybe an hour, two hours maximum. That's all it takes to cook that many pizzas. So yes, you will go through gas a little faster, but it really not too big of a difference. Some of the things I like about this oven, as opposed to the dome, is that I have the flexibility. I can change the stones out. So if something would break or you'd have bad luck and you'd actually crack the floor of your oven, I can actually replace these very easily and they're not too expensive. So I could go on to the Pizza Party website. I could order the original ones that came with it or I could order another set of these biscotto stones for under a couple hundred dollars. I could have a new stone floor with the Gosney dome. That's not an option. Another thing I love about this oven is the integrated stand that's available for purchase. So for a few hundred dollars more, you can actually buy this stand. It's custom made to fit right to the bottom of the oven. It has heavy duty caster wheels. It's very heavy duty built. This is the original kind of the pilot version, the test stand when like right when it was coming available to market. It has some of the original shelving on it. Now it comes with much better quality components. So you'll see like some of mine, like they don't use this bamboo anymore. They come out with its natural hardwoods and it's well stained and oiled. So the, actually the new stands are even better than mine, but this one is going on, I think it's two years now, two years now, and it still works great. This is out in the weather year round. I don't even cover the stand. I just cover the dome, the oven. So the stand's great. This is a very heavy oven. So it's very difficult to move around. So having it on caster wheels, if you're on a paved hard surface, you can still, uh, unlock the wheels and move it around a little bit to clean and kind of move it around or if you need to roll it into the garage or under a cover or something you can do that with the stand it's great I also love it because it's higher you don't want your pizza oven at a counter level because you have to stoop over having the stand puts the oven right at the proper height where when you're launching the pizza or turning the pizza your arms are in a natural position so you're not having to slouch over all the time so great to have this option for a pizza oven so as you'll notice the Pizza Party Emozione does not come with an integrated stand. They do sell a, it's more of a kind of a table or a, I don't know what you want to call it, more of a cart almost on their website. So it's available. I'll put an image of it up right here. I'll scroll it across. But this does not really have an integrated stand like the Gosney Dome. That being said, some of the benefits of this oven, that it's much lighter. So if you would need to move this around, let's say you want to store it in your garage for the winter or in a storage building, etc., you can actually take the stones out relatively easy and then one person can easily pick this oven up and move it. So if you need to store this for the winter, this is a great option too, that it's very easy to move around. It's much more portable. I'm not gonna say it's portable per se, but it's much more, it's easier to move around in store if you need to. Um, again, it doesn't come with a stand, but they do sell a kind of a stainless steel cart that you can actually set this on top if you don't have a countertop. It has these high legs too, so it doesn't get it up quite as high as the Gosney Dome, but it's still a relatively comfortable height because it's probably at least six, seven inches up um, higher than counter height. One of the things that still drives me crazy about this oven that I don't really like is the fact that when you put the original cover on, it doesn't cover the gas connection so everybody's always like oh why do you disconnect this every time it's because when this is connected it sticks out four or five inches so you can't get the cover to fit tightly over it the drawback of this is is that you lose the pressure of the gas line so then when i reconnect this and try to start the oven again it usually takes me five ten minutes to build the pressure back up another issue that's going to be fixed with the new cover that gosdy came out with is that if you get the mantle attachment for this if you attach the mantle, you have to slide it in here. You have to screw it on from underneath. And once it's on, the original cover won't fit over top of it. The door is fine because it fits flush, but the mantle has to be removed, stored, and then you have to put the cover back on. I believe the new cover will take care of that also. I'm looking forward to getting it so I can test it out a little better too. It will also cover the whole bottom of the stand too, which will help if you have wood or accessories down there to keep everything dry. So a little more about the build quality and the manufacturing of this oven. Uh, to a lot of people, it's important to not only the oven itself, but where is it built, how's it manufactured, etc. One of the great things about Pizza Party and the Emozione oven is, is that 
it comes, it's exact opposite of something that's mass produced or a big factory. This comes directly from Florence, Italy. They have a small factory that actually builds these pretty much by hand. Some of the metal is, you, like they bend it and form it with machines, but most of the assembly, most of the actual construction of this oven is done by hand by a small group of people in Florence, Italy. And right here it says made in Italy. And again, the Emozione Pizza Party Oven. So if that's important to you, if you want a true Italian pizza oven and Italian made, this is 100% made and manufactured in Florence, Italy. And it can be yours, shipped straight to your house. Like I said, expedited shipping, very quick, very easy. So I don't think, well, I know so. You're not gonna be able to find any other Italian made pizza ovens on the market this size, this caliber, this quality for this price point. So the exact opposite of the Pizza Party Emozione is the Gosney Dome regarding how it was built, where it was built, etc. This oven was designed in England and it is actually mass manufactured in China. So there's a lot of pros and cons with that. A lot of times people hear kind of manufactured, made in China, etc. One of the first things is, okay, is the build quality good? I'm going to repeat myself for the 16th time. For the $2,000 mark, that is the reason that this is coming in at that $2,000 mark is because it's manufactured in China. To have this exact oven, if you wanted this built in the UK, in Italy, or the United States, this would be a four dollars or $5,000 minimum oven. So the way they helped reduce the cost of this to have such high quality material, design, and style is by manufacturing this in China. So you're still getting a great oven. It's still for the $2,000 price point, this is about as good as it's gonna get. The downside of that being mass produced in China is that some of the quality control isn't quite as good as it would be in Europe or the United States. Some people have said that they've had issues with the stone not being kind of in the right position. There being a, like too big of a gap between the frame and the stone. And then where this black meets the ceramic on the side, some alignment issues. These are all pretty much cosmetic type issues. So the build quality issues that we've heard of coming from China have nothing to do with the overall cooking ability of this oven. Again, it's more cosmetic things where they maybe produced them too fast. They were going off the assembly line too quick without quality control. So I have heard comments about some things being misaligned, some minor cosmetic things like that. But if it's important to you, if you want an oven that was built in Italy, a, an authentic pizza oven, etc., then the Pizza Party Emozione is probably gonna be a great option for you too. If you don't really care where it's made, as long as it's a good oven and good quality, then the Gosney Dome for the price is an amazing oven also. So again, everybody always asks me if I had to buy one oven, which one would it be? I've actually been extremely lucky because I have both the Pizza Party Emozione and the Gosney Dome. I use them for different things and different reasons at different times throughout the year. So for me, I enjoy both of them. They both have great attributes that make them very capable pizza ovens. This oven, the Gosney Dome, is extremely versatile. It's dual fuel. So it is a lot more expensive though. It's gonna cost at least twice as much around that 2000 plus with the stand, a few other accessories, you're looking at probably around $2,500 kind of as a good entry point for this oven in, in the dual fuel. But you're getting great build quality. You're getting a very nice style oven. It looks good, it works good. You can cook steak, salmon, whatever you want, slow roast things because it has that flexibility and versatility. Again, the downside would be the cost. It's extremely expensive. So if this is your first foray into like home pizza ovens, I would probably recommend getting something smaller or if you want a bigger oven, but you just don't have the budget, that's where I think the other oven's gonna, a better option. So some of the reasons this pizza oven cost $1,000 less than the Gosney Dome, it's basically it comes back to what I talked about earlier. It's the simplicity of the design. One of the things is right off the bat, you're gonna notice, and I talked about it about the opening, is that not only does it cause a lot of heat to escape, it just has one layer of steel on the outside, a thinner layer than the dome. It also doesn't have the ceramic coating, which makes it a little less expensive. 
and the amount of insulation. This still has some great insulation in it, but it's not nearly the same level of insulation as the Gosney Dome. The good thing about that is that it causes, it, the cost is much less. So insulation is one of the more expensive things and the metal, et cetera, and the ceramics. So by having, this has just enough insulation to keep it where it still retains heat well enough to get this oven up to a thousand degrees very fast. This oven heats up within 15 minutes, you're almost at a thousand degrees. So because of the high output burner, it does kind of compensate where it doesn't need as much insulation. If budget really wasn't a concern and I wanted kind of a medium sized pizza oven that just really looked good in my patio or my backyard, and I wanted to make some pizza, but I really was focusing on not only pizza, but other things also, then I'd probably have to choose with the Gosney Dome because it really is the most versatile and kind of the best for dual fuel at this price point. Once again, I hope you'd enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully it was valuable. Um, I'll put some information down in the description below. So if you want to learn more about either one of these ovens and I have some discount codes, at least for the pizza party oven, check that out. If there's anything else I can help you with, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll, I answer all of my comments. I'll check them all out. So don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions, concerns, or follow me on Instagram also. You can send me a direct message, and that's probably the fastest and easiest way to get a hold of me too. But leave a comment in here on YouTube also. Follow me on Instagram, and I look forward to hearing your comments too. And sorry if I forgot some of the pros and cons. I, this is actually the second time I've had to film this. I got halfway through the first one and realized I turned my mic off. So if I've forgotten something, ask the questions again below and I'll try to make a follow-up or some shorts to answer some of those questions also. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, welcome back to Heartland Productions. Just checking out the microphone to see if it's working. Check, check, one, two, three. All right, Tico, you ready to make some pizza? Or make a video at least? He wants to get in the P-O-O-L. It's hot, isn't it, Tiki?